Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload custom background patterns and masks. So this is a follow-up to the Divi 4.15 update where they added those new background mask and pattern options. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can upload your own. Um, a little bit of a hack, um, but it's actually pretty simple. So let's get started. And of course, if you did not see the video that I did, um, the last video here on the channel, you want to check that out. That was about that new update that I talked about, the Divi update. All right, so the first step in creating a custom pattern or mask, right? The very first step would be to prepare it, to get it, you know, to make it or to find it or to source it, whatever, right? Because it doesn't exist, that's the point. So in Divi, um, you see that the, the new the new tabs that are added, right? This one's for patterns, and you click pattern, you can see all these pattern options, right? Well, what if there's one, you know, what if you don't see what you like there, right? You want something different. And the same here with the mask, you know, here's some shapes and stuff, but you know, you might not see what you want. That's the point of this video. There should be like an upload field or something. So anyway, um, let's let's get back to the tutorial. Like I said, the first step is to find it. Um, for patterns, there's a there's some really nice patterns that you can get. Um, I have a link here. Um, has just some uh, a link to another website where they listed what they think are like the best um, ways to create an SVG pattern. And let's see, like hero patterns. I think I actually used one of these. Yeah, I used one of these for the example that I'll get to, like topography. I mean, look at these, you know, Divi doesn't have these, right? It, it could be any of these, right? Okay, that's the point. So you can find find these on these other websites. Now for mask, I'm going to have to make one. You'll have to make one. I don't know even like what you would look for. You know, it's like a background with a shape, okay? So it's kind of a custom thing. It's not really something you... Like how would you even Google that? I tried and I was like, well, I don't know what I'm saying. And then I kept getting like vectors of like masks that go on your face. And I was like, no, forget that. So it was like hard to find anything already made. So the point is that you would want to make something custom. Um, in fact, I, I can do that. I'll do that when I get to it. But first step is to find and source it, whatever. Second step, let's just jump right into the Divi Builder at this point and you'll add a CSS class. And we're gonna be targeting whichever element you're using. If that's a section, a row, a module, if you wanna change the background on that one, right? Then you'll use one of these classes. So I'm just gonna grab, um, actually I'll do this one here. So PA Custom Background Pattern 1. I'm using that because that's also what I'm using in this snippet, right? You could use your own CSS classes, just make sure they match between steps two and three. So I copied that. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here. Like again, I don't want yeah, I don't want this polka dot one, right? Let's say I want something different. So I'm going to open the section. Remember, I have it selected here, but I don't want that one. So in the, with this one open that I don't want, I'm going to the advanced tab right here, CSS, ID, and classes, and I'll paste that class. So now we're targeting this. And maybe I didn't clarify, you have to have one selected in order for this to work. So you're selecting this one even though we're not using it. Okay, so we're not gonna have polka dots here, we'll have something else. So we're done inside the builder now, okay? So we can actually just like save this. Um, we're done with this background pattern. The next step is you can see here the CSS. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on copy, the one for the background pattern. So I'll go in here, go to Divi theme options, all right, and paste that there. And you can probably already see paste file link here. So there's something missing. So also you can see that the class that I pasted in the section is right here. So we're targeting it and then we're targeting the selector for the pattern, and then we're saying we're replacing it. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're saying background image and then URL, whatever we've uploaded. Save that. There's one more step. Now we've got to go to the media library, right? 
I actually already up the, uploaded this um, puzzle piece, jigsaw one. So you would go, you know, you would click on add new and upload the, the pattern. Again, the pattern, you can see it's like seamless, right? No matter how many times that would repeat left or right or up and down, it would be a seamless pattern. So you want to make sure that you're finding a seamless tile. That's how they're referred to sometimes. But anyway, I've already done that using that one uh, hero sections or hero patterns, whatever it was. Click on copy URL to clipboard. That's the link for this file that's uploaded to my WordPress site, okay? Now that the file is copied, go back to where I pasted the code right here and replace that placeholder text like that. So you can see we're targeting the section, we're then targeting the pattern, and we're saying the background image should be this one. Now I'm going to save and I'll show you how simple this was. Remember, here is where the polka dots are. That needs to be replaced. So I just did that. Now I'm going to refresh. Just like that, you get the, the other image. That's how you replace the pattern. The exact same step is for the mask. All right, so um, let's just do that. So I was saying about making a mask. So uh, actually, I think I'll... Um, I think I'll just make a shape here. I don't. I haven't even, you know, done this yet. But I know this is how you would want to do it. So I created a new Illustrator file. You can use any kind of uh, vector editing program. Um, what do we even want? Let's do a star. Oh man. Let's do a star like that. Make it white or something. And I'm not teaching you Illustrator right now, so I'm not going to do that but basically I have this shape I'm gonna export this shape the point here is that I'm making something custom that's that's literally the only point here all right back here to my media library I'm gonna add new I've just uploaded it right here's my button copy URL to clipboard oh then I gotta get back and get my um I forgot I did not add the the class all right and I need to add this it's the same steps it's just there is a difference you can see here I say PA custom background mask one and then it, the, the the selector in Divi is different. So I want this selector. Hope I'm not confusing you, but it was the same as for pattern. I'm just I'm doing it in, a, in an out of order way. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we got the mask. And again, right here, we have a mask selected. All right. Now the last step is to copy that from the media library. It's a lot of, I need like three tabs. Um, and paste it in here. Okay, let's try that. And save. All right, now I can go in and adjust the background settings. So it's in this right here now. I mean, you, you, yeah, you won't see it there. So down in here, stretch to fill, I can set it to cover. So cover is going to be, um, you know, if the object, the whatever I've uploaded will resize to fit the container and then there'll be extra around it that's kind of hidden. But anyway, um, that's, that's it. Same process for both patterns or masks. And you can try, um, you know, adjusting the settings. I'm not sure if you could change the color. That may be one limitation. Let's try it with patterns here real quick. Can I, if I would say like red, let's see if it actually changes. It probably won't be able to. No, you would need, okay, so note to self, you need to upload whichever color you want for these things. I uploaded black, so <laughs> little note, um, that won't that won't take effect so anyway um the other things like transform those do work right if you need to rotate it i should write oh that one don't work okay and it, some of these other ones would certainly work do that a lot of the repeat that kind of thing all right well anyway that was that was the four steps that's how you do it you know prepare it then add the class um, upload the file and add the CSS and you know it kind of all comes out it doesn't necessarily need to be that specific order 
I hope that was not too confusing. Um, doing the one with the pattern would be more um, streamlined. I kind of got out of out of whack there a little on the mask, but you saw how it worked. Um, the general process, and I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you find that useful. And if you do, you can subscribe, you can give me a thumbs up, you can comment, and you can share all that good stuff. All right, that's what we do here every week. We have a new tutorial related to Divi here on YouTube and on our blog, so make sure you're subscribed. And hey, we'll see you all in the next video.